Nick Timothy. Uh, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. The Chancellor quoted Paul Johnson earlier of the Institute for Fiscal Studies, but she actually omitted the end of his comments. He said, half the spending hole, she claims, is public sector pay, over which the government made a choice. Ah. Ah. That's the truth, isn't it? She does a good shocked face, but she chose to do this, to create her own spending hole, didn't she? Well done. Well, it was the previous government that set the mandate for the pay review bodies. And it is extraordinary that they didn't include in that remit a measure of affordability, but they didn't, uh, which is why the pay review bodies made these recommendations. The previous Education Secretary could have rejected these recommendations, but she let it sit on her desk because the previous Government were not willing to make tough decisions. We have made those decisions, including making sure that a third of the cost of these pay awards is absorbed, but there is a cost to inaction, £1.7 billion cost to the NHS alone last year because of industrial action. Derek Twigg. Uh, 